Okay. I told you I don't like really Christmas music, but this is I like this holiday song. Okay. I like this one. Okay. New Year's Eve. Yes. He found one he likes. Holiday classic, of course, by Nancy Wilson. As is one of my favorites, and asking the age-old question, what are you doing New Year's Eve? If you're here in New York City, especially Times Square, the celebration is kind of back for the most it's, part, it's, right? It's back a lot more than it was last year. Yes. That's a good thing, right? We're, uh, festivities are expected to look much like they did before the pandemic, but there are going to be some differences, of course. And our contributor, Alicia Quarles, on the scene with the inside scoop. The most iconic event in New York City, New Year's Eve. People from all walks of life gather by the thousands in person and tune in by the millions across the globe to watch that dazzling ball descend in Times Square. Last year, the celebration was noticeably smaller, but the team behind the iconic ball drop is getting ready to ring in 2022 the old way with some minor adjustments. Is this year fully back to the way we've seen it in years past? We're looking for our new normal in Times Square, and we're going to do it in a safe, responsible manner. If you're five years or older, you have to prove that you're fully vaccinated with a vaccine card and then photo ID. Those under five years old have to wear masks. This ball drop is just one example of how we create our new normal and a lot of excitement in Times Square. And as New Year's Eve revelers are making their plans to be a part of history, the team overseeing the annual tradition are hard at work. Mr. New Year himself, Jeffrey Strauss, has been overseeing the ball drop for the last 27 years. This year is a lot different. What does it mean to you to drop this ball 2022? With all these changes in the world, one thing remains constant. That Times Square ball will drop at 11.59 p.m. to welcome the new year every year. What is this ball made of and how do you just keep it so pristine? The Times Square ball is clad with 2,688 Waterford crystal triangles. So we've created a patchwork of hopes and dreams. All of these things that we cherish are all represented in the ball. And what I love, the confetti are actual wishes and hopes that people wrote down, right? People come and they write their wishes. And when that confetti drops, it's filled with thousands and thousands of people's wishes. Of course, I was not going to miss the opportunity to write down my New Year's wish, but I needed to get a little inspiration. You don't mind. What are your wishes for 2022? My wish was to come to school for New York and to just make a new life here. I just wish to have like a good year next year and for my family to stay healthy. I just wish for more peace in the world. Well, I'm wishing that most people go ahead and get that COVID shot so we can get back to normal and really start to enjoy the city like we used to. So with just one day left in 2021, I can confidently say we're all optimistic for a great 2022. I would show you my wish, but I can't because it won't come true. So I'll just have to put it in the confetti box. <laughs> yeah, you can write a wish down on the confetti. I am going to run out and get that in before the new year. All right, our big thanks to Alicia for that up. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.